most of the activity seemed to focus on the boy. It started with him hearing voices and seeing shadows moving about. One night, as the boy was lying in bed, he opened his eyes to see a man standing in the corner of his room. The man calmly walked up to him, placed his hand on the boy's head, and just disappeared. Then things got serious. The boy was upstairs in his room when he saw the devil, as he called it. Some demonic looking creature that told him to end his life. A child at this age shouldn't even consider such a thing. But the thought was placed there by something truly demented. It continued to tell him that if he didn't end his life, tonight would be his last night on this earth, regardless. The child immediately left the room. He came downstairs and his parents could tell something was very wrong. They asked him what was wrong, but he refused to speak about it. After a lengthy debate, they had to finally beg the child to tell them what was bothering him. Tears filled his eyes as he told them the truth, reliving the horrible experience that just happened. He pleaded with them not to make him go upstairs to his room, where he said, the devil was waiting for him. The parents were brokenhearted as they saw the tears streaming down his face and the emotion in their little boy's voice. They comforted him and told him to sleep in the living room on the futon. He happily agreed. Hours later, the boy, now alone, was lying on the couch trying to fall asleep and forget his experience hours earlier. But then he noticed something move at the top of the stairs. He looked, and there it was. The devil gliding down the stairs toward him. The boy was frozen in fear, dead silent. He couldn't scream, even if he wanted to. This devil, now at the bottom of the stairs, moved directly toward him. Within moments, the boy went unconscious. His parents came to the living room to check on him, and to their horror, they saw their loving son convulsing with a horrific seizure that lasted 10 minutes. He even stopped breathing. On this evening, his life was spared, but a battle would soon begin.